Okay, so today we're going to go over the 6212 uh, rebuild. A few things you're going to need, a large crescent wrench, 3 quarter open end wrench, 11 sixteenths open end wrench, 5 eighths, 9 sixteenths and 3 eighths wrench. Also a small flathead screwdriver, a straight pick, and a snap ring pliers. Uh, three kits available for this are the motor rebuild kit, it's a K62MRU. Uh, the head rebuild kit is K62HRK112 and then the, the suction check rebuild kit is KFM12S6Q201. Alright, first we'll start at the wet side end. Best thing to do to make it easy on yourself, just pop it open. Side of your check. Yeah. Using the nine sixteenths, remove your. So once you get your head bolts off, remove your flange, slide your head off carefully. You're using a three-quarter wrench, grab this jam nut here, pull off your internal chuck here. Slide off the packing thing. Okay, so we have the wet end removed. Next, we would like to go to our motor side. So, first, take off all of your tubing with an 11 sixteenths wrench. Alright, so the next thing we want to do is pull off your plunger rod carefully. Just give it a little pop and it'll come right loose. Let's remove our muffler so we can stand her up. cylinder bolts. Let's stand it on in. Let's remove our flange here. Pull up the cylinder and piston. The way to remove this, just push it slightly down to the side and it'll pop right up. in our housing.
Nice we'll pull off our flange here. And this gasket. Move your alignment screw with a three quarter wrench. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is pull out your spool. We'll have two D slides. So the next thing we want to do is remove all of, them, all of our seals and discard them. So first I'll take the spool here. And remove the O-rings. Now be careful not to scrape the side inside of here while you do this. Alignment screw over ring. Put the one inch snap ring in here. Snap ring will also be included as part of the kit. As well, your rod bushing. Okay, so that's all of the motor seals.